believe that leadership can be developed. So the question then arises is how do you start your journey in leadership development? There are really three things that you have to think about. The first is, what kind of model or paradigm of leadership do you, do you have in your mind? The second is that you have to develop a high level of self-awareness. And the third is then that you have to develop a set of skills around leadership. So let's take each of those in turn. The first stage in leadership development is to think about what you believe leadership is, because clearly, what you believe leadership is, that's what you'll do in your leadership role. If you believe that it's about telling people what to do, that's what you're going to do. If you believe it's about developing people, well, that's what you're going to do. And an important part of that is whether you believe that leaders are born or can be made. Well, what does the research evidence say? Research on this shows that there's a, a heritability component in leadership. In other words, our genetic makeup contributes, we reckon, about a third to the behaviours that are involved in leadership. Now, what that means is that two-thirds can be developed based on experience. There's no doubt that modern organisations are changing, and changing very rapidly. The advent of social media, the globalisation of organisations, the changes in generations coming into the workforce are pushing us to a point where the kind of leadership that we're going to need will be different. Recently, the Hay Group in London produced a report called Leadership 2030, looking at the kind of leadership that's going to be needed as we move into the future. The Hay Group have identified that the characteristics that leaders are going to need include a deep ethical sense, a deep sense of intellectual curiosity, and very importantly, the ability to develop and sustain loyalty from a diverse group of employees over whom they may not actually have direct authority. That is a challenge for leadership development. So, when you're thinking about your leadership journey, it's, it's not sufficient to just think about leadership for today's world. You really need to be thinking about leadership for the world five years or ten years from now. There's a, an emerging body of research that shows that transformational leadership works, and it works in modern organizations. The four key components of transformational leadership are, firstly, what we call idealized influence. Transformational leaders are people who are interested in the people they lead as much as in the task that they have to achieve. They operate out of a, a sense of integrity. Uh, they are people who really have the capacity to make leaders out of followers. Somebody once said that they, they lead with you and ahead of you. The second component is intellectual stimulation. So a transformational leader is somebody who questions the old ways of doing things, who pushes people to find new models, new questions, new ways of thinking about old problems. The third component is to do with motivation. Transformational leaders have the capacity to challenge and also to create meaning, to make work and work life interesting for the people that they, they work with. And the final component of transformational leadership is that they are concerned about individuals. They think about the needs of individuals for growth and achievement. And they have a capacity to work out how far somebody needs to be stretched, uh, what their comfort zones are, and what their needs are to be developed. So if we take those four components together, somebody who meets those kinds of challenges under those components could be described as a transformational leader. Leadership is a complex subject, but leadership development needn't be. The important thing is to focus on the journey, the processes involved in the journey, both for our own personal leadership development and for the development of our organizations. I believe that by developing transformational leadership, both in ourselves and in our organizations, both we and our organizations will learn to adapt to the modern world, that we will be able to deal with the complexities that are emerging, we will survive and we will flourish. I hope you found some of these ideas useful for your own leadership development and if so, I would encourage you to subscribe to our YouTube channel.